watching Let's Chat. Generosity can make a difference. Generosity can make a difference in the lives of so many. Generosity makes a difference in my kids' school. Generosity is necessary. I am generous because I feel it is my duty to help others. I, 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 I am generous. 2020 is throwing us a lot of curveballs, one of which is changing the look of National Philanthropy Day in Chattanooga. But don't worry, as you just saw, we are still celebrating those who make a difference in our community, and we are still here to make a difference in our community with the help of the I Am Generous campaign that is going to be a new month-long initiative. Here to give us all the information is Miss Andrea Lyons. Good morning, Andrea. How are you? Good morning, Jess. Good to see you. Looking beautiful as always. Oh. All right, tell us a little bit about this new month-long campaign. Of course, things are looking a little bit different um, for National Philanthropy Day, but we're still celebrating and we're still working in our community. Absolutely, and um, the whole purpose of the I Am Generous campaign, which by the way is presented by Elliot Davis and sponsored by um, First Horizon Foundation, UTC and Morning Point, um, it's to celebrate National Philanthropy Day, but it really has two main goals. The first is to celebrate the many ways that people in the greater Chattanooga area are generous and are giving or giving back to their community, whether it's volunteering, giving their time, their talents, or of their, their financial resources as well. And we think that's worthy of, of celebrating. But also to highlight AFP, um, the Association for Fundraising Professionals, and uh, the many benefits that it offers to the people who work in the fundraising industry. So we are really pleased to be able to, to bring this. And you'll see videos like the one that was just shown um, testimonials, uh, the hashtag I am generous all month long now through December 1st, which is Giving Tuesday. Perfect. You just said that. I was about to reiterate the AFP, of course, <laughs> encourages individuals to participate in the philanthropic process throughout November up until Giving Tuesday. We all have a lot of Giving Tuesday information coming to you on Let's Chat in the future weeks. Uh, but I want to talk about how do we get involved now? How do we get involved now with this campaign and how can we make a difference? Well, I think what's most important, and as you said at the beginning, 2020 has just been a challenging year for all of us. Um, the nonprofit uh, industry has certainly had its share of, of, of curves thrown at it, too. Mm -hmm. um, but what's most important, I think, is for people to realize that it's not just how much you give, but it's the way that you give. Whether someone is a 20-year-old giving $20 for the first time, or a, a lifelong giver who is establishing a, a scholarship endowment, you know, in her name. It's that, you know, those large gifts are wonderful and they are impactful, but so are those smaller sustaining gifts. And we hope that people will be encouraged and inspired to give when they see some of these stories or maybe share a story of their own as they get involved and share that hashtag, I am generous as well. Right, and I love that the title of this campaign is I am generous because that does encompass so much, like you just mentioned, everything from, you know, a teenager, you know, giving a 20, you know, to those large donations um, it includes acts of time as well, um, because mm -hmm. there are needs across our community that are both um, monetary value, time value, and item value as well. Uh, so talk yes. to me a little bit about uh, the AFP again. I know you talked about them earlier, um, but exactly who is this organization for and how can we get involved as, as a viewer, as a community, and as a business? Sure. Um, AFP the, is the Association for Fundraising Professionals. And as the name indicates, it is to train, to educate, to offer uh, ethics and advocacy for people in the fundraising profession, but also for people like me. I'm not a fundraiser, but I work very closely with them in, uh, you know, whether you're a board member uh, for a nonprofit organization or you work in marketing or event planning and coordination. Those folks, or I have gained so much from being a member of AFP, just uh, finding new trends, new ways to yeah. tell the story Andrea, of the, I hate to, uh, the impact. I hate to interrupt you. We have a hard out today. I know we're going to talk about this, Goon. In the meantime, sure. for more information, search AFP Southeast TN on Facebook.